Hello, once again welcome to all of you. Here I am going to deliver this time a video lecture number 5 that is module number 5 cash flow statement. After we understood the fund flow statements, the cash flow statements it's almost a sequential relevance with the fund flow statements because of in cash flow statements the certain requirements are same in fund flow statements what are the informations we need we need two consecutive years balance sheet and financial statements of the company in the same format in the same way in cash flow statement also we need two consecutive years balance sheets to analyze the financial statements that the only the things is different that what we are supposed to understand in case of a fund flow statements there would be something different in case of cash flow statements which are the some topics to be relevant regarding the cash flow statements like introduction meaning and definition as it is the sources of cash flow uh, cash inflow and cash outflow uses of cash flow statements objectives of cash flow statements limitations of the cash flow statements difference between fund flow and cash flow statement which is very important because of we need to identify what are the major differences in these two statements because of uh, the certain things the fund flow statements by law it's not compulsory but now in cash flow statements it is by law compulsory to be shown by the all the public company in their annual reports so classifications of the cash flow, cash flow statements is required then the preparation of the cash flow statement and very important as per the accounting standard 3 the format pro forma of the cash flow statement is also required let's begin with the introduction part of the cash flow statement what is a cash flow statement it, it provides information about the cash receipts and payments of the firm enterprises and organizations for the specific period of time specific given period of time it provides important information that complements that the profit and loss account and the balance sheet so all the informations regarding the balance sheets and profit and loss account as such the financial statement information provides regarding the cash flow statements as it was providing in the fund flow statement also the information about the cash flows of a firm is useful in providing users of financial statement with a basis to assess the ability of the enterprise to generate cash and cash equivalents and the needs of the enterprises this which has inflows and cash outflows regarding the all transactions in the case of economic decisions that are taken by users require an evaluation of the ability of the enterprise to generate cash or cash equivalents and the timing and certainty of their generations why because of we need to identify the time period we need to identify the strength of the cash liquidity we identified the inflows of the cash and on the amount of outflows has been required of the cash so all these economic decisions can be taken through this report the statements the statement deals with the provisions of information about the historical changes again if you want to consider as a limitations or an advantages whatever but it is actually prepared on the basis of a historical data so this is find out the changes of a historical consideration in cash or cash equivalents of an, of an enterprise by means of cash flow statement which classifies the cash flow during the period of operating investing and the financing activity so that means operating activity investing activity and the financial activity of the specific period of time in the financial statements would be represented through the cash flow statement and cash flow reports that is the cash is the most important assets of the business it is the lifeblood of the business so we need to evaluate it and identify how the cash is moving in the business as per the requirement whether it is actually moves or as per the budget as per the plan and as per the schedule if it is not working in that sense then it might be create some problems in the business so all business transactions ultimately results into a cash inflow and cash outflow hence a statement that shows cash flow is considered to be a very very important one 
it can be said that for the cash is both in the beginning and at the end of the period of a business operations are required the business should have sufficient cash on hand why because of that the liabilities can be paid as and when they fall in due so whenever the liabilities are comes in due to repay if the cash is not available then you might be in a problem so you stuck stuck with somewhere that the cash is not available the liquidity is not available to meet all the liabilities so the cash is available enough cash available in the business to meet all the liabilities another observation is the cash on hand should not be excessive also otherwise the cash would remain idle reducing your overall profitability why because of the cash is excessive it may not be invested somewhere it is just in the business keep it aside where not at all utilizations or optimal utilization of the liquidity and that's why it may be affected to your profitability cash plays a, a very important role in the entire economy life of a business why it is very important role because of the uh, cash provides all the transactions and all the activity economic activity runs very smoothly and very systematically fund flow statement fails to convey the quantum of inflow and outflow of cash because of we have a definition that the cash is equal to fund but i want to tell you there are certain transactions which affected the fund but may not be affected to cash here we are going to consider only the cash transactions which affected to the cash and that is actually represented in the cash flow statements so the limitations of the fund flow statements would be avoided and comes positively in the cash flow statements a fund needs cash to make payments to its suppliers to incur a day to day expenses and pay salaries wages dividends repayment of loans and the transactions which are occurred on a regular basis and stipulated time basis which is provided a blood is to human body the same it is provided in a business enterprise by cash so this is what all about the part of consideration fund flow statements fails in the case of the informations regarding the cash but here it is represents all the different consideration so the cash flow statement concentrates to a transactions that have a direct impact on cash in that sense the cash flow statements is on a vital role for the analysis of a management for financial statement so the fund flow statement limitations may be removed and not may be removed but try to remove by the cash flow statements advantages it deals with the inflow and outflow of cash between two balance sheet dates so the two consecutive balance sheet dates the company and this report and statements shows a differences of inflow and outflow the movement of cash is vital importance to the management whatever the movement has been actually identified that movement is playing a very vital role for taking the decisions in the future for if the inflows of cash are not sufficient to meet the outflow of the firm will not be able to meet its current obligations so that we need to identify that whatever the cash inflows are available if it is not in a position to meet the future obligations that means there is something is lacking that we need to identify that and which are the sources to get the cash more and more in the business to meet all the obligations on a regular basis when the management is interested to know about the movement of cash and the availability of cash the cash flow analysis provides this informations so management would get in all the informations regarding the cash inflow and outflow from only and only cash flow statements cash flow statement is a statement of recording systematically all inflows and outflows of cash of the accounting period of a specific accounting period thus it shows the sources which is inflow of cash receipts and the purpose for which the payments means outflow are made it considers that it is like a receipt and payment account um, in the summary form here the fund flow statement shows the changes in the net working capital while cash flow statement shows the inflow and outflow of cash 
only. So the difference, one difference is very clearly identified that fund flow statements represents the changes of networking capital, but the cash flow statements represents the inflow and outflow of cash only. The statement shows the amount of cash received and cash paid due to any transactions of the business or any or each transactions of the business. In short, the total cash inflow is added to the opening balance of cash and total cash outflow deducted that from it. This is the net amount of cash balance at the end of the period, which is reflected of a cash flow analysis. Now moving to the next point, it is very important that is the meaning and definition of a cash flow statement. Fine. Cash flow are the inflows and outflows of cash and cash equivalents which were already discussed in the part of introduction. So the, ultimately the cash flow is what? Inflow and outflow of the cash transactions and the cash equivalent transactions. In other words, cash flow statement is prepared on the basis of cash and cash equivalent transaction only. It means the movement of cash into the organizations and movement of cash out of the organization. That means whatever the transactions in and out related to cash would be considered under the cash flow statement or in a cash flow report. The difference between the cash inflows and outflows is known as net cash flow and which can be either net cash inflows or the net cash outflows. So the difference of between this inflow and outflow consider as a net cash inflow or net cash outflow. Cash flow comprises cash on hand and demand deposits with banks. So any amount of transactions which changed cash inflow and outflow, it shows that the how much amount of cash in hand or maybe which is actually with the deposits in the bank. Cash equivalents are short term highly liquid investments that are equally converted into cash or that is equally considered as a cash readily convertible into the amount of cash immediately whenever they want to convert it. In the case of that the treasury bill, commercial papers and the other type of the debt funds debt papers which are immediately converted into a cash and cash possibilities. Here the definitions are concerned but before the definitions the some important things we need to consider ICAI Institute of Chartered Accountant India has issued accounting standard 3 for preparing a cash flow statement according to the amendment to the companies act it has been mandatory mandatory means compulsory for all of the companies to implement cash flow statement in their annual reports that means Fund flow statement is not a compulsory but cash flow statement has to be shown in annual report as per the accounting standard 3 schedule. So cash flow statement as per cash inflows and cash outflows are broadly divided into a three categories. I'll explain the how much amount of the three categories that the three important part is cash inflow then outflows it's actually broadly divided into a three part one is operating activity that operating activity is carried all the operational transactions related to the day to day transactions of the business would be considered into the operating activities and find out the changes of cash inflows and outflows from this activity then the investing activity investing activities it means that any amount of changes occurred in the change of your fixed assets and investments whether you purchase a fixed assets and sale of fixed assets and you may be purchase a long term investments and sale of investments it means any changes occurred in investments would be recorded under this activity and identified whether the cash inflow and outflow and the third activity that is financing activity financing activity it means the active transactions which are related to the amount of capital and debt funds 
uh, brought into the business and repaid from the business. That means if you issued some equity share capital and preference share capital and debentures, maybe you take it the bank loans and certain other things would be considered as an inflow under this activity. Or if you redeem a preference shares, redeem a debentures, repay a bank loan and financial institution loan, which is considered as a cash outflow of the fund. In case that if you are paying a dividend also, that would be also considered under the financing activity. So there are three major activities under this cash flow statement and which would be identified cash inflow and outflow of the business. The cash balance in the beginning and at the end of the year to be shown in this statement includes both cash and cash equivalent including the bank balance which are easily convertible into cash with minor changes. So at the end of the year and the beginning of the year whatever the changes are occurred related to a cash and bank would be identified from the transactions and the minor changes would be find out. The statement can be prepared by two methods like one is a direct method and the other is indirect method. Fine. Now let's see what is a direct method. Direct method it shows from sources of cash inflow like received from debtors, received from the amount uh, through sales, received uh, amount through the issue of share capital and debentures and any other things and the cash outflow maybe repaid the amount of debentures and any other things or maybe paid to the creditors are considered in cash outflow. It is a direct method. But indirect method is the cash flow is found out by taking necessary corrections in the net profit. So we need to identify the amount of changes in the net profit and the corrections to be identified the part of net cash outflow. So here it is an indirect method and direct method to evaluate the cash inflow and outflow. Let's move for the next point that is the sources of cash inflows and cash outflows. The most important features of cash inflow and outflow is like the sources of inflows, it's issued of share capital, debentures, taking a bank loan, sale of fixed assets and investments, uh, any amount of an operational profit would be considered under the cash inflow. And the cash outflows are the redemption of a debentures, redemption of a preference shares, purchases of fixed assets and investments, payment of dividends and the loss from the operations. So these are the cash outflows. Ultimately, cash inflows and outflows can be changed through operational activity also. So here we need to identify the which are the activities would be considered for the sources of cash inflow and outflow. Let's discuss one by one. Start with the first is operating profit. Business transactions have generally uh, generates the cash from profit also or maybe the most of the amount has been generating the cash from the profit. So but adjustments will have to be identified to be made for non-cash items like depreciations, provisions uh, regarding the tax, regarding the general reserves, regarding the any amount of uh, future contingent liability, right of preliminary expenses. Some